Hey everyone, welcome to the Clips channel. Did you know this isn't our main channel? But yet you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So explore the internet. See you there. Yep, everyone's just got Can questions. we but uncover Elidibus's true origins? We may yet come to understand his designs. To that end, Ishtola must needs be afforded as much time as she doth require to complete her investigation. To, to the extent that such things are within our control, yes. Speaking of which, perhaps we might trouble the Exarch for news of his progress at the Spirit Vessel? He will no doubt wish to learn of our own discoveries as well, such as they are. Are we, are we, oh, are we oh, traveling via cutscene? Yeah, apparently. It's just out of here. Or meanwhile, in calm of old. Oh, jeez. Nope. Wouldn't it be meanwhile in the Gimlet Dark? Because we got like another Ultima on the way. Could be. Is Arbert handing out pamphlets? What's going on here? Oh, God. Dare I ask what's going on? Are you ready? That is a powerful kilt. I'm ready. Look at that cat stash, too. What are you talking about? Ah, excellent timing. For me, in any case. We have a problem. The vast majority of those gathered here are presently in the employ of the guard or else one of the facets, and no longer wish to be so. In principle, all are free to change vocation at any time. But a city does require a certain number of people in these positions if it is to continue to function. For the moment, I have asked them to postpone their resignation until such time as replacements can be found. As you may have surmised, we have the Warrior of Light to thank for this. I did surmise. What, they, they, they all want to go off and become adventurers? Yeah, basically, that's my take. It's you! The Warrior of Darkness! You understand, don't you? Someone's going to have to look after this place once you're gone. We just want to be ready to do our bit when the time comes. And not only here, but everywhere. Which is why we've got to get out there and lend a hand to those in need. That's what you did, isn't it? Even if it was just little things at the start. You helped people. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a joking moment. <laughs> I'm going with the middle one. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I mean, I'm proud of all the people I helped and the chocobos, but you know, it doesn't seem uh, the time. If everyone leaves to help everyone. And we're trying to do the same. We may have our sky back, but there's no shortage of people who still need help. When There'll everyone's more super. people that need help here if when you've been in your, your post. Steps. That I choose to believe we too can be heroes one day, even warriors of light. How you get a calamity? <laughs> what are we to say to that? We can hardly tell them they are mistaken. I they feel like you could do good as you have. <laughs> you could. You could. But no more can we stand idly by and suffer a paragon scheme to proceed unchallenged. sure it's just fireworks right oh what the butts that's pretty nice that's a nice little cloud effect layered textures going on what okay, what's happening to this guy the character options yeah <laughs> oh, oh shit just the end of days no problem Uh... What the... Huh? How? 
Wicked white. Oh, oh no. By the twelve. A star shower. I... I hear a voice. You and all. And why does it feel like it's inside my head? Hear? Feel? Think? The what? Me too. So you declare yourself a warrior Did of what? Did I not tell you, my friends? Oh. You are warriors of light. You're back! What is happening? <laughs> Are we echoing an Asian? No. Time stop? No. Uh. What is happening? What you hear is the voice of light itself, and it has blessed you with its power. Welcome to the fold. I'm a warrior of light. I've been chosen? <laughs> no. Can it be? Me? The hero. It's very good, like, uh, dead ass Pennywise eyes there before yeah. turning to walk away. <laughs> Wait. The falling stars, were they your doing? And why do you need warriors of light? What, am I to reveal my plans simply because you asked? Nay. I mean, I think I not. like doing yeah, that. Yeah, that was my Those thought, stars, right? I acknowledge mine. A convenient illusion apt to awaken what little is left of the power that once resided in your sundered soul. That's a, that's, a, that's a thing you can do, huh? Okay. That which you and yours call the Echo. And an Echo it is of a symphony, but a fraction of what men in their completeness once possessed. Even those among you who tower over others in the gift have only the faintest trace of it. But those sundered and forgotten through death and mocking rebirth, it has persisted. A whisper of our past burned into your very ether along with the sight of our end. Through the rekindling of memory, I have awoken the ability. Just as Heidelin is wont to do when she has need of new minions. The Echo hath ever been thought a gift from Heidelin, a boon granted solely to her chosen. Yet thou wouldst claim she merely awakeneth the power that men should hearken unto. Interesting. <sighs> That's a cool play. Her voice. Given the perceived simultaneity of her call and the awakening of her chosen's capacity to hear it, it 
it is only natural that we thus attributed the source of the gift. Yet if, in truth, the echo is a prerequisite for hearing her voice, one might surmise that her call never ceaseth, such that all who awaken to their innate gift might receive of the blessing of light at the self-same instant. It's like you're a message on repeat. In sooth, we bore witness to this but moments ago. At the sight of the star shower, full many in the crowd did speak of hearing a voice in their minds, did they not? Just so. And whenever Heidelin has need of new servants, she is quick to pluck comets from the heavens or create illusions of the same. Why then didst thou conjure this vision, full knowing that thine age-old foe would thus claim those awakened to the gift? Foe? You must be mistaken. As you see, I am a warrior of light. And together with my comrades in arms, I shall save the world. Just like you. No one saw that. <laughs> They're all too stoked in the background being warriors of light. That is a cool play on the echo idea. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Like, we just, we just, we just so in chaos. This is just this mass hysteria because everyone's having an awakening yeah. simultaneously. Like, yeah. It's like in uh, Uncle from Another World where they get nosebleeds. I haven't okay, seen it. But you should, you should enjoy it. You should enjoy it. Nosebleeds in, in an anime is no, not a it, it's a not It's thing. not about fan service. It's a whole other thing. Oh, okay. It's when you get a memory that you've purposely forgotten. <sighs> and it's like, it even worked on us, right? Because now we're questioning everything. Like, in character, the Warrior of Light, the Scions are even like, wait, so we're not special? Yeah, no, I, I, I'd have to, I'd have to rewatch it. I'm gonna, hang on, I, I, I see chat going fast with advice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover that up real fast. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking at chat okay, right now. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Um, because it was it was Orianje who said the important stuff, so that's why it's gonna take a few minutes. Yeah. So current currently, I took it as everyone always has this power. She just merely awakens it. It's not a gift from her. That, and it, that's why an illusion works because you just have to be reminded it existed. Hmm. So that's why Elidibus is able to make warriors of light, basically, you know, propose and make servants of Hydlin, because all you got to do is just remind people's souls that they have this power. That's how I interpreted it. I mean, essentially, I mean, that's what he's saying. Yeah. We thought it was a gift. But if what Elidibus is saying is true, the only thing, I mean, it's still technically a gift if Heidelin is choosing to remind you. Well, it's more, it, yeah. What Elidibus did just there was like, take that choice away, essentially. Right, right, he forced the choice. Yeah, there was no choice. There was, it was shotgun warriors of light. Everyone, everyone's a warrior of light now. Now they could pull something that's like, you know, at the beginning of the game, that was actually Elidibus giving you the vision of Heidelin. You know, that was just an illusion before you woke up on the cart. Yeah. And that all that business, that would be interesting. It's a little little busy, but my question is, does that mean all of our Scion companions now have the echo? Because Orianje's talking about the people around him. It, did our Scions in that scene confirm that they heard the voice? And are we all echoed now? Uh, they did not. Yeah, I didn't take it that We way. have no confirmation in that scene. Who knows why or why not? Maybe you have to be from the world. Maybe it's because they're projecting and we already have the echo and we're not projecting. Well, and these people wanted to be warriors of light. So when they saw the illusion, their heart opened to the idea and un unlocked their power that already existed. Yeah, I think that's a stretch. I well, don't know. What was the stretch? Uh, the, I don't think their desire matters. Do they say their desire matters? 
I mean, everyone here wanted to be. Why? Why doesn't? Why doesn't Alphino have the echo right now? Is my question. Because he's he's a out of this world. B projecting and not actually there in his body. That that could be the case. That could be the case. Uh, so. Yeah. That it, this is this is not something I'm I'm prepared at the moment to uh, deduce. Because yeah. obviously it is uh, titillating. It's tickling to get us to buy more <laughs> months and, and play more of the video game, right? Like that is very much um, a mystery for another day and, and to be dissected properly. Yes. So let us yes. continue with Alpha now. Wonderful. Portance the more Lydipus reveals, the less I understand, but that he has made a fine mess of things is plain. I'll catch us up with Catman here. Nah, I already showed the thing because I've missed too many. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Uh, Crystal Exar says he's gone then. I've managed to persuade a number of our would-be deserters to reconsider or at least delay their departure, but as many are deaf to my entreaties. Young they they lay the Valer. Tyler, can't yeah. get that name. And Vonard among them. I'm sorry to say they have quite uh, they have quit the guard. Nevertheless, I wish them well. Whatever Elidibus's plans for them might be, the pair have only ever had the best of intentions. One can hardly blame them for thinking themselves heroes elect, not after having been blessed with the echo. And it's not as if they haven't shown the requisite spirit. I quite agree. Though the impetus for their sudden departure may have been words falsely spoken, the men and women in those footsteps, they would follow our heroes in truth. Warriors of Light, Ardbert, yourself most of all. And so I would ask a favor of you. Speak with them ere they embark on their journey and furnish them with what wisdom you can. They've set off for the Amaro launch, but you should be able to catch them if you leave now. What the effort, I'd say? If I recall correctly, Amaro Warweb took the time to usher you out into the wider world many moons ago. Oh, mine says Rob. I know. I was about to say, I bet Robon said something cool to you too, Val. I think that the comparison rather flatters Thaler and Vonard. But the point sh still stands. They would doubtless be greatly encouraged were the warrior of darkness himself to see them off. If thou art willing, I prithee go. Thou mayest safely lead the task of unfolding that which did transpire at anamnesis to us. Okay, to the launch. Cool. When do astronauts eat? Um, I don't know. At launch time. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, Taylor's all dressed up. Oh, he is. He's got pauldrons and shit. You again? Uh, I mean, it's oh, you. Oh, no, and a real dumb hat. Sorry. Sorry. It's been a funny old day. Oh, so is his buddy. Yeah, they're all his dressed up. His buddy has amazing hair. Couldn't see it under his hat before. You can, sh you can be sure we'll take those words to heart. I still can't believe it. You coming all this way just to speak to us. I swear I will let you down. So long as it helps someone, we'll do whatever needs doing out there, no matter how small. And when larger threats loom, we'll be ready to face them. You see if we aren't. I got like the bottom one. <laughs> Go. It's more on uh more more in character for me anyway. <laughs> Zachary, now go kill squirrels. We'll be off then. Farewell, Warrior of Darkness, and thank you. That that doesn't go anywhere. I don't think. I guess it maybe goes out to like tomorrow <laughs> or something. I've been down that way. They're going to go launch on their armor. Yep. 
<laughs> they, they could have put a couple armoros at the end. <laughs> there could, just there could have been a little, just a, just a one armoro chilling down there. Just like one, just one little armor, armoro. Just so I'm not like, guys, uh, guys that's, you're going to fall to your there's death. Nowhere, there's nowhere out there, guys. There's no rules leaving the Castanian Batman. <laughs> no joker. No, a little bit. No, you can't make everybody wars of light. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes, I have business with Crystal Legs Arc. Do you know me? Dude. How many times have I talked to you I, now? I know everybody. Oh, oh, there's there's lots of clicking. Alphano says, Take it they were suitably inspired. Thankwood says, You caused quite a stir when you set forth as the Admirals. Uh, uh, admirals. Newly anointed envoy, you know. Alphano says, Honestly, don't listen to all this prattle about life-changing importance of your words to impressionable young heroes. You could nod mutely in their general direction, and they'd still be inspired. Breen says, This land is our home, and it is we who must protect it. Even if he didn't believe a word he said, it's all part of some terrible scheme. It's hard not to take his message to heart. Rian Jay is informing us that uh, all, all we missed was catching up the Crystal Exarch, and Becklug missed the whole thing. <laughs> all right, Crystal Exarch. Thank you for making the effort. I'm certain your words will be a boon to them. While you were away, the others told me of your investigation. We have yet to discuss how to proceed, however. Maybe through cutscene. Would be a good idea. While your findings in Anam... Why can't I say that? Anamnesis Anida oh, do hey, raise hey. important questions as to the uh, identity of our adversary. We are no closer to discerning his design. Nor do I know of any other potential avenue of investigation. For which reason, we must needs trust to Rishtola's ingenuity and wait for her efforts to revive the ancient's device to bear fruit. What if I were to attempt to follow the emissary? Elusive as he is, his plan compels him to court public attention. He shouldn't be impossible to find. Especially if, uh, for one of your experience. It does seem worth the attempt. Belk, I'll come with you. Safety in numbers. In combat, perhaps, but where stealth is required, the opposite is true. Happily, I don't plan on getting myself caught. So you've no need to worry. Nor do I intend to vanish for moons on end. We still have the empty to attend to, don't we? In 5.3. All right. Then I'll look forward to your return. Then it sounds like the rest of us should avoid doing anything which might prompt a little bit to look too closely at our movements. Insofar as possible, I recommend we limit our activities to the Crystarium. Speaking of which, Exarch, might I ask if you've made any progress with the Spirit Vessel? Of course, we are presently studying the principles underpinning memory transference and, I believe, nearing the requisite level of understanding. Less hearteningly, practical trials of transference methods suited for use with the vessel have yet to yield satisfactory results, to put it mildly. But there are still many promising possibilities we have yet to test. Indeed. Though it may take some time yet, we are well on our way to a solution. And I shall not rest until one is found. Nods, nods, nods. Though we are grateful for thine un unstinting, unstinting <laughs> efforts, thou needst not labor to the exclusion of all else. If it would serve to lighten thy burden, however little, I shall gladly offer mine assistance. Quite. I, for my part, will do whatever I can to ensure that the Crystarium continues to run smoothly, in spite of recent disruptions. Please let me run the city, please. <laughs> then perhaps I could help. There must be something I can do, even if it's just guard duty. Thank you, all of you. I shall breathe easier for your assistance. Of course, on the evidence of the recent past, 
It will not be long before some new crisis arrives to throw our plans into disarray, at which time your services will be in particular demand. That being the case, perhaps you might take this opportunity to retire to your suites at the pendants. No, nothing, nothing ever good happens there. <laughs> oh, God. We look in a mirror. Yep. Our bird appears and is like, yo, what is going well, on with my body? What the hell is going on? Oh, God, we are actually going to the pendants. It's not just a... It's not just to take a rest bit. A pleasure as always, Master Nocross. Gaunt. I'm relieved to see you were unharmed in the earlier commotion. Though, if I may, you do look somewhat wary. I presume you will be retiring to your suite? You know it, buddy. Very good. Do let me know if there's anything you require. I'm entering... Uh, my room. And it's dark. But I left the stove on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I left the stove on. I feel like I need to start putting on casual clothes before right? these cutscenes. Right, yeah, scenes. before we <laughs> before we go in the inn, just make sure we dress up a little bit each time. I cannot imagine that was easy. Oh, you're you're a little behind me. Yeah, I'll be I'll be here. There's been no talking so far. <laughs> Very intimate little scene. Alright, I shall wait for you. No, oh, I'm gonna make some coffee, nice. Or tea. Oh, that's, that's decent water. I was about to say, I cannot imagine that was easy to do. Yeah, that was decent that is, water. That is a flex. That is an MMO flex. Yeah, somebody spent a long time on that. Yep. Uh, Matt, what the hell? I was doing like a drunken pirate for Glennard, right? Yeah, right. Wait, Glenn. Yeah, Glennard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Master Nocross, Master Gaunt. It's Glennard from the Wandering Stairs. I apologize for calling so late. And also for hiding outside your door. Oh, wait, no, you oh, wait. were. Yeah, that's not Glennard. No, what? Who the guy we're thinking of? Wait, who am I thinking of? You're thinking of the guy in the basement. I, th I was thinking down in the oh, water. Oh, there's a yeah. barkeep. The, the I was thinking of the dude underwater. Yeah, I was thinking of him with too. Us. Yeah. Why am I. What's his name? I don't remember his name. Oh, my God. Had, yeah. to, had to build, build a lamp. He was all, you know, upset. So, why am I confusing their names? Anyways. Uh, Frenios was asking after you. You might uh, remember them from that business with the Cardinal Virtues. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I have all the options. Yeah, I guess we do have all the options. Uh, 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 whoever Granson? I pick, is it them? Do I get who I pick? I don't know. We like Granson. You know, I'm Gr going Granson. Okay, let's go Granson. Granson. Let's go Granson. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. You, you get what you pick. Cool. You get who you pick? Yeah. That's cool as shit. Well met, Sinner. Oh, Sayel's a bonus option? What? What? Can, tell me I can read. Can I read, like, do can, this in yeah, the, the book and pick different things? It has things? a little arrow by it, so we can probably do them all in the book. Oh, my God. That's cool as shit. That's so freaking cool. Anyway, uh, me says, uh, I was looking forward to a welcome respite here in the Crystarium, but the mood here is not exactly conducive to relaxation, as I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, I, I'd wager you know more about what's going on than anyone else in this city. Care to share? Pains me great. Ooh, whoa, and now I'm angry. Hmm. Can't say that I envy you, uh, envy you your prey. Dark work, this twisting of the Warrior of Light's legacy. Reminds me of what became of old Dikaiosin. Though this Asian of yours is a fair bit more chatty. I'm tempted to silence him myself. Brandon made his mistakes, I'm sure they all did, but the past is the past. 
They've earned their rest. I literally am just having a scene with myself right now over on my corner of the of the game, Kyle. <sighs> I'm going with that second option. Sounds good. You do you. No, I like that. I like that. What? You want me to leave it to you? <laughs> right, right. I'm not the only one carrying all that weight. Very well. But only because you asked. Remember, if you ever need me, just say the word. I'll be there. What a bro. Granson rules. Yeah, Granson's a cool guy. That's cool. Uh, Maybe Tuesday. Tuesday we could sit down and do all the options together. Mm, that'd be a good Tuesday thing. I'd like to see it. Yeah. For sure. Because I want to check in on the archer and the kid. Get old Lou Reek. Yeah, get Lou Reek. Oh, that wind looks fresh. That would feel good right now. Mmm. It's very stuffy in here at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, in the umbilicus. Foiled again. Oh, that gradient die job would be very hard to pull off. <laughs> and maintain. The infernal thing with my power via magical means. We may need to devise a way to infuse the vessel with my blood after all. Oh. Art thou unwell? I'm half crystal, man. Get the leeches, ugh. Oh, perhaps a brief respite? It wouldn't do to overtax yourself. Could eat cereal out of my bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pay attention, sir. <laughs> I'm fine. And they're and half given bowls, to they'd be terrible. I'm afraid. Especially Together. when I have a stake in the outcome. Complete them, complete it all. Okay, hey. Oh, wow. Oh, Xenos what? is new drip. Yeah, look at that. Look. How? Yo. Why? Did, well, because he can teleport now, dude. Yeah, he just, I, I guess. Yeet, him, yeet his ass over to the first, and he's just going on a grand tour. Look at that code in the back. That's badass. What is what is happening? Dude, the, his outfit is awesome. What the shit? Yeah, that's a good look. All right, I want my solo Astinian game followed up by the sequel, the solo Xenos game. Oh, look at that eyeshadow. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Give yeah. me some makeup. Dream again. Okay, he's Holy dreaming. Holy shit. Oh, he's dreaming. Yeah, interesting. Oh, look at you, you. Yeah. You extra bitch. <laughs> Holy Got that crap. lean going on. <laughs> attitude. Oh, and he's still a hanging out with... dream. They do so oh, fascinate voice. me. Might I trouble you for the details? I have always dreamed of it. Fire falling from the heavens. 
and the city, nay, the whole world ablaze. Indeed. Could Emmet Selk have found a way? Precious few possess memories of the final days. The final days? Ooh, cool shoes. Why, yes. Admittedly, my knowledge is mostly second-hand, but if you are interested, I will gladly tell you the tale. The tale of the world's end. Still don't know whose chin it is. I have no clue. No clue, Kyle. No, and the voice wasn't very helpful. No, no, very, uh... Whispery. Very generic for what we've learned from the studio, which they get to do the, the play. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, folks, uh, now is when we break the news to you that to have the most authentic experience, we will not be continuing for six months. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, the, the quest ended for us. So that's the that's the end of 5.2. That's it. Yeah. It's 5.2 in the bag. Wow. That was, a, that, was a, that was an all right ending. I, I was like about that. to go Dude, on a whole thing Zenos about... Is, yeah. Zenos' new outfit is the shit. That's pretty cool. What a cool thing to show off. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's a good look. I like that a lot. Because I was about to go off on a thing of like, wait, how can he do that with his body? He must be projecting or something. There's that whole thing about the Crystal X arc and Emmett capturing him. Why? <laughs> this, this, this game like constantly ups the ante so much that at no point do I think... Oh, it's just he's just having a dream. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I'm like right. clearly he's there. I yeah. don't I don't really know how that works, but Z Zeno's found a way. He must be there. He must Zeno's be there. Found a way. <laughs> Coats are simply another form of cape. Yes, Sitton. Yes, yes, That's, they are. That is true. I mean, but I mean, capes and coats are just blankets at the end of the day, and, and blanket is nothing but a backward snuggie. So you know, and it's all it's all circular. <laughs> all a blanket is a it. blanket. Yeah. Did you, say, did you bring up Snuggy? Yeah, Snuggy. Is it yeah. is it two thousand and eight? What what year can, is it, you Kyle? You still get one. You still get one at the, the, the four from TV that, at the Walmart. Snuggy, oh my God, get out of here! Get out of here! Well, that was something. That that patch had a really good flow to it. I liked it. Yeah. And I get why yeah. they did the aside with the, you know, the the guards kind of being like, we could do better than this. You know, we can help more people if we weren't, you know, on patrol. There's people who need help here. <laughs> so I get why they did that. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, well, that's stand for Snuggies. Man, first everyone pretends to like Interstellar. Now you're all pretending to like Snuggies. <laughs> they might be so cozy. It's a conspiracy. When I see the material, I think like that false fleece that like dehydrates my fingers. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't do it for me. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot to chew on in that patch for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, no, that, 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 that requires digesting. It requires digesting. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what did you just say about Interstellar? The truth. The truth. <laughs> That's what I said. In his heart, he feels it. The truth. The people must know.